If you look to your logbooks, you'll probably notice that many of your cross-country flights end at the 20 kilometer mark. This is because you're not making the most out of your second climb. The key is arriving with the right attitude to make the most out of the lift you get. I left from the um, summit, just under cloud base, saw this cumulus here and just headed for it. It was a long sinking glide, but when I got here you get rewarded by a steady, smooth core. Drifting me quite a lot along the slope still. The, the mountain is still very shallow and uh, the thermal is still stuck to the mountain and it's drifting up it. Soon it'll break and go more vertical. Either when it releases from a trigger point off the mountain like a, a pinnacle or when it hits cooler air and goes up more vertically. To help visualize the track of a thermal as it releases, imagine someone pinching a tablecloth and lifting it upwards. Everything at the edges is drawn into the center as it continues to rise. So if you find yourself low and drifting, go with it, as it is usually taking you to the center of the best lift. Do you remember earlier I said the thermal was drifting us? Now we've got more of a vertical component. Now it's just going straight up. I'm looking down at the ground. I can see we're hardly moving with reference to that, which means we're now in a perfect column of lift rather than a drifting thermal. Lovely. Even when you have found a thermal, it's quite easy to lose it again as it drifts. A great development with GPSs is the map page. If you have it zoomed in to 200 meters, then you can really see the instant trace resembling a telephone cord as it follows you in the thermal. So if you lose it, immediately fly back towards a telephone cord and recenter on the lift again. Very steady, good climb here. So I'm just increasing a little bit of pressure on the inside, getting that tip down. All forces are balanced. I'm centered in the core, just keep cruising round. Okay, I just left that one. See here the area goes quiet for a bit. That's my edge. So I'll fly a little straighter for a second away from that edge and turn again. The secret of coring is flying away from the, the least lifty bit and always tightening up on the strongest. So whilst you're in the thermal, this is when you should relax. And keeping an eye on what's going on next. Watching the flatlands already, seeing it develop, seeing cumulus forming, seeing shadows cast upon hills, all that sort of stuff, whilst I'm still climbing here. So although I'm giving my brain a chance to rest, I'm also going slightly broader in my concentration. Having a little glance over, thinking, yeah, that'll do me. But if you just relax, you'll go on forever. <laughs> Ever. Right, I'm gonna go on my glide.